tell you a story. True story, like all my stories are true. There's a parent who the kid, Nabuch, wanted drugs. And because we're TP parents and we're Mamish, our, our kids' best friends, instead of going out and risking their lives like we've had kids who risked their lives to get the drugs, the kid said, I have to go to my dealer. Mom said, no problem. Let me get my purse. Let me get my keys. I'll take you. They're driving to the drug dealer, and the mother says, what kind of drugs are you buying? So he says, I'm buying ecstasy. Ecstasy, wow. What does it do for you? So he gave her a whole sheer. Why Dafka? He needs ecstasy and not cocaine and not weed and not something else. Because ecstasy gives you a chemical, if you look it up online, in your brain. He says, that's what I'm very low on. And it's like just like a diabetic. A diabetic is low on, right? And you get, you get insulin, right? You get stuff. It fixes the problem. So it's interesting. It's not just that crazy kids, they want everything, they want to feel, they want to feel high. They don't want to feel high. They, they want to feel alive. They have a hole in the chemicals of certain, of certain chemicals and they feel drained and they need it just like they, they need, just like we need sugar sometimes, otherwise we're going to faint. They need what they need. So he explains he needs ecstasy. They get to the place, and, which is very rare. The drug dealer did not show up. I guess if you look at his rating on, uh, online, probably it's not five stars. The guy didn't show up, which is very rare because they're very amazing, amazing. Drug dealers are responsible. They always show up. The kid, guy wasn't there. So the kid is freaking out. He's sweating. He's getting nauseous. He's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I need this. I need this. Now, a little bit we have to become trained to understand they're not doing this for fun. They have a need, and, and they're going to crash without it, and they can hurt themselves, and bad things can happen. <coughs> So she says, well, okay, is anybody else open? I mean, isn't there any 24-7, 24 hours, 7-Eleven guy? You know, we're, what else are we going to do? He says, no, I don't know. This is my guy. I don't know anybody else. I don't know what I'm going to do. He's freaking out. So the mother tells him, she says, is there anything else that gives you this chemical? If you can't get ecstasy, is there anything else that gives you this chemical? So he thinks, he says, um, Fun. That's a fact. If you look in Google, what fun does, it releases this chemical in your brain. She says, okay, so let's go have fun. So he says, so, okay, I don't know where to go. Let's see what's open. He found out that near them was a pool hole. So she went with her kid to shoot pool. She walked in like a good TP mom with her arm around him and smiling. They got some beer. She got the thing. He said, she said, teach me how to play. You're going to be my, my thing. Show me how to hold it. And they had like two hours of fun. Not the greatest fun in the world, but it's fun. They came back in the car. They're sitting in the car and he's opening up to his pain and opening up to his tsaris and opening up to all of his problems. When you're close to your kid and you don't throw them out and disconnect them out of, your, out of your life, that's what you get. And he's opening up and opening up and she gives him a hug. She said, I was so nervous somebody's going to see me hugging some guy in my car in the middle of the night. They were, it just like a five-minute hug and he's crying on her shoulder. And then they went home and he went to sleep. What's the wow? He didn't do drugs that night. She replaced ecstasy with fun, connection, and love, and he went to sleep without drugs. Now this kid without a mommy and a daddy would have gone, gotten agitated, would have found drugs, would have found something, or would have gotten heroin, or would have gone out for, or would have gone crazy. We are doing battle against hardcore drugs, and our tools are you have to be close enough to them. That's why we don't say, get out of my house. What are you doing? I'm not giving you money. She's like, drugs? Sure, let me get my purse. Do they accept credit cards? Which the whole world would say, what are you, crazy? Stick around for the end of the story. Because we're doing this, we're there. And therefore, we were able to get into them and replace drugs with love. No drugs, hugs. Hugs, no drugs. That's what we're all about.